Well, well, well. I've wanted to talk about this since a long time. But I was like, I'm not a One Piece channel. Why would I? Except here I am doing it. So yeah, I think it's uh, very safe to say that Egghead is probably the best arc in One Piece history. And yeah, I know I have a anime background, but for you anime watchers, uh, it's probably best you get the fuck out right now. Because we're discussing manga stuff. So One Piece chapter 1110 is probably the biggest chapter since Shanks stopped Akainu in Marineford. The five elders, the Gorosei, they have dropped their massive schlongs on the Ark. And with it, took out like almost all the pacifistas. I say they took out all the pacifistas, but it's only just what that one old dude who did it. As big as this is, it's not even the biggest reveal in the Ark. Like this is all happening as a build up to what this old man behind me, Vegabunk, is about to say out of pocket. Who knows, we're in 2024, he might say I'm gay or something. Anything could happen. And we might just uh, end up with a, a secret cutscene that Vegabang was hiding until he dies. I mean, he, he does have a long tongue. I mean, that, that, that you know, that could help in some cases. I mean, okay, never mind. So basically, uh, One Piece is, as always, being the goat that it is. And keep your eyes open, keep your ears open. Keep your ass. We're witnessing history right now. Egghead is probably everything one or wanted to be. Minus three years. <laughs> and yeah, the, on top of that, the Kuma backstory is... Yeah, I mean, uh, I've seen polls online and even Odin. Like, people like Kuma's backstory even more than Odin's. Which was the perfect backstory when it's dropped. And you know what? I could imagine Oda doing it again. Making a perfect backstory in the future. And yeah, just to end it, I want to make more One Piece videos just like this. Basically rambling at just how good One Piece is and how perfect Oda is and how long Vekabang's tongue is. I mean, come on, bro. He, he, he could shrink his brain into a um, half an apple i mean that's a mega apple i know that's not what apples are sized but still you get my point he, his head was fucking massive he could definitely do something about his tongue you know <laughs> And why an apple, by the way? Come on, Vegabunk, answer us. Like, you could have just made, like, waves, like, or something. Like, complete your head, at least. <laughs> look at your head, brother. <laughs> Give yourself a good hairstyle. You know, you're looking like Dr. Wily. Like, come on, bro. Anyway, uh, doesn't matter. He's still the goat. As funny as he looks. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it. Go tell anime watchers to read the manga, because in a couple of chapters like maybe three chapters some massive news is gonna drop if vegabunk is successful and that is definitely gonna get spoiled on them i know it so let's free them from the anime curse one piece must be read it has reached the point that the anime is only enjoyed for the production you need the event to be read from the manga because you're not gonna make it you're not making it a whole year in without spoilers so yeah that's my advice get the fuck out